Hi everyone, this is Tim with the Sword of the Spirit Podcast. Uh, today we're uh, talking in Matt Mark chapter 9. So this is another one of those chapters where it's going from story to story to story. Um, and they're really easy stories to follow. So rather than go after each story, I'm just going to talk about a couple of them. Um, the, there's another instance where... Jesus has the crowds and they have no food and they begin to, you know, the, the disciples say, hey, they need to eat. So it's a second instance of where Jesus feeds the multitude. He takes the bread, he breaks it, and he, you know, uh, feeds the crowd and they take up the leftovers. And this time they take up seven baskets of leftovers. And I've heard some people say, well, this is just a retelling of the first instance. But in the next part of the ver, in the next part of the chapter, Jesus distincts the, separates these two. He says, well, how many baskets did we take up when I had the five loaves and two fishes? Twelve. And how many baskets when I took up the seven loaves? Seven. So he does make this distinction that it's two different events. Uh, next story I want to talk about, and yes, we are actually on the road today, so it's raining, so you'll have to pardon the background noise of the rain, and yeah, it's the Dreyer family. We're in the car and we're on our way. So the next story is Jesus meeting with his disciples, and he asks them, who do men say that I am? And they say, well, some say you're Elijah or one of the prophets. Some think you're John the Baptist. But who do you say that I am? And Peter says, thou art the Christ. And yes, that's coming from the old King James. You know, he says, you know, you're the Christ. You're the Messiah. I believe this. And in one of the parallels in the other Gospels, you know, Jesus goes on to say, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, because flesh and blood didn't reveal this, but my Father which is in heaven. The fact is, is that Peter knew Jesus was the Messiah. But when he accepted this and he got this down in his heart, it changed his behavior radically. I mean, we're talking about Peter that's going to get up and preach on the day of Pentecost. We're talking about Peter that is going to eventually be crucified as a martyr upside down because he didn't want to be crucified the same way as his Lord. Now, Peter wasn't perfect, and neither are we. Yes, this is the man who denies Jesus three times, but you know, in the book of John, we actually see where Jesus goes back and he asks him three times, you know, Peter, do you love me? He makes it right. So, folks, that's kind of the takeaway for us today from this story is, hey, do we really believe it? You know, who do we say that Jesus is? And that's a question that is, you know, new believers and seasoned believers alike, we all need to ask ourselves this. We need to kind of get that in check. Who do we say that Jesus is and do we really believe that? Because when we believe that he's both Lord and Christ, our behavior is going to show that. You know, it's going to be reflected in our attitude and it's going to be reflected in what God can do through us. So, folks, I pray you just find this a blessing today, and see you all next time.